Hey guys, and welcome to my first ever solo trip. Today we are in Brussels, Belgium for the weekend. I'm so excited to share my experience with you. Let's get into it. So, I just made some friends with my seatmates. This Hi. is... Oh, no, so we have arrived in Charleroi airport and I'm just heading to Flipco, which is a shuttle bus which will take us into the city center. This is the line that we have to endure just to get to Brussels. Do you want to do a haul of what you bought? So my friend is letting me stay at her place and I got her some chocolates, truffle chocolates with caramel inside. They look so they look delicious. amazing, but I've never tried them. They're like true Belgian. Yeah, Ooh. exactly. I, I kind of need some of those. I need like a thousand of them. All right, so we finally arrived at Midi Station. I'm so happy to finally be here because it was quite the journey. All right, so here's my hostel for the weekend. It's good sleep well. I'm all like checked into my hostel and now it's time for me to go explore. It's about like 4 p.m. so it's a little bit later than I thought, but I'm gonna go check out the city. Let's go. I'm just walking to the Grand Platz and it's pretty lively. It's getting busy here. Looks like there's like a big promenade. So I still am getting to enjoy a bit of the sunlight of Friday afternoon. Um, so far it's really beautiful. Um, the streets are quite narrow, but there is really a lot going on. It's a lot to take in, lots of statues, beautiful historical buildings. I haven't even gotten to Grand Platz yet, but that's my next stop. So I'm excited to get that like boom moment. I checked into my hostel, I organized myself and now I'm ready to do a deep dive into Brussels, Belgium, see what it's got to offer. I realized I never showed you guys my outfit. I'm wearing this super cozy blanket thing, some long jeans and these beautiful loafer-esque shoes and underneath I just have a puff jacket for warm, staying super warm. And I stumbled upon the passage du Nord, du Nord, I wish, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And like, it's just so royal. Um, I think you can really tell that I'm in Belgium just by these beautiful details. And these are also seen in other wealthy European countries like Italy and Milan especially. Honestly, I'm just a sucker for these beautiful corner shops like this one's this beautiful yellow shade and look at the little flowers like on top of the On top of the windows here. That's adorable I love it So I need some postcards and souvenirs I kind of think this one's cute I love the little umbrellas. Maybe I'll get one of these I just got some Belgian fries with uh, Dallas sauce and now I'm just going to enjoy them while it rains a little bit. Cozy little cafes. <gasps> That's stunning. I'm just currently finishing my fries and staring at this cathedral. This is insane. I just like shouldn't even put away my camera at this point. It's all gorgeous. You guys are not ready for this view. Dum, da, da, dum. This must be heaven. And the sun is peeking out. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Guys. I'm sorry, I'm just fangirling so hard right now. I'm gonna zoom in on here, of course I am. Dang, this is just incredible look at the gold detail on this building it's fascinating wow i think i've taken about a million photos and not even of me and just of this gorgeous old town 
My plan is no plan. I'm just gonna explore and see where the road takes me. I just wanna like spot out some things spontaneously and just kind of see what speaks to me. I already finished my fries and they were good, but now I'm looking for something sweet. If you know, you know. You always gotta have something sweet after you eat a savory dish. And I'm gonna go look for something. I'm hoping for a Belgian waffle or maybe, um, maybe just some chocolate, hot chocolate, anything. I'm really down for anything. I'm just admiring this area. All right, Belgian waffle acquired. I opted for a classic, just like a sugar, powdered sugar one. I think it'll be good. It's super soft and super warm, so I'm really excited to try it. Holy moly, you guys, this waffle is unreal. It's like totally, <clears throat> totally worth the hype. Um, it's got like a caramel coating on it as well. Mm. Oh, and this one was only, 250 so it's not even a bad price either but i i'm really happy i just got it with the coated sugar and not whipped cream because it's already sweet enough as it is but it's amazing highly recommend if you go i think i got this from the waffle factory but i really like it look at the little bicycles climbing up the wall there it's a gorgeous little restaurant and i think we got like a beautiful tree in full bloom um and of course, we're right by Mannequin Peace Piss, the iconic statuette that's like dressed up and peeing. A little water fountain. Here it is in all of its glory. And they like dress him up differently each time based on tradition and the calendar, I think. Okay, y'all, Brussels has got to stop with all these cute and aesthetic little places because my phone is running out of storage, so is my camera. But I have to show you this spot that I randomly found. See, I just love spontaneously finding things like this. Isn't that, like, so charming? It's a little, little small street with lights, and I even love this corner building. It's so unique. You get a glimpse of the Belgian architecture, and let's, let's take a journey down the street a little bit, Rue de Rollebeek. It's super artsy and cozy, it's warm. I'm on my way to Mont Desart to see the viewpoint. It's kind of what it's famous for, but look at this. But I've noticed that they have these little like circle pod things for like people to gather around in groups and have like picnics and stuff, which is so cute. So I'm just gonna go up there. So in the middle here we have a garden and I'm perfectly in time for sunset. <gasps> Look at that. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to the top, I'm excited for the view. And we're just walking among these trees to get there. I love traveling so much. Like I'm having such a main character moment. I just can't explain it. I'm just very grateful for this moment. Thank you to those of you, shout out, who bought me this trip for my birthday. I'm so blessed and so excited. We've made it. Look at that view. It's beautiful. Whoa, this camera is insane. concert going as well. So I'm a shop and go because I like to check out like the local supermarkets. So this is called shop and go and I just want to show you guys like they have so many good meals. I'm definitely grabbing a water because I gotta stay hydrated, so it's like a good ginger lemonade, sort of. Um, and then I might grab something for later. This is a snack. All right, it's time for some dinner, so I'm going to Wolf Market. Looks like a nice little food hall. Let's go. Check it out. Oh my gosh, good vibes. So I'm gonna dive in. I got some Indian soul food. 
I got this incredible fried chicken non-witch. It's like a non-sandwich. It looks so good. And I just picked a little spot and I'm just gonna enjoy the delicious food and the atmosphere because it's really, really nice here. I recommend everyone come here. It's perfect for sharing plates, bringing friends, but also you can go alone. All right, you guys, so I'm headed back to my hostel. I'm about to call it a night, nice and early. It's like, I don't know, maybe 9 p.m. But I'm gonna go unwind, relax, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for more adventures. Good morning vlog, happy Saturday. It's about 8 in the morning and I'm just about to head out for some breakfast. My fit check for today is just like a blouse with black tank top and black jeans. We're keeping it simple, same jewelry as yesterday, just my pearls and my little gold necklace. Okay, so I'm actually impressed. They have a pretty nice breakfast selection. I got some tuna, like veggies, and I think chicken with some toast, which I'm gonna make sweet, and then an egg and orange juice. On today's episode of Spontaneous Finds, I just like walked past this beautiful park and I just wanted to show you how these flowers are like in full bloom right now. That's so pretty. Wow. Okay, so I made a little bit of a rookie mistake and I literally used all my footage yesterday, so I only have like a few minutes for today. Um, so I gotta make my vlogs quick. I just found La Atelier in Ville, which I wanted to go to. It's like a cute pastry shop. So I just took this strange elevator thing. It's literally called a strange elevator. Up to the top of the, the view of Brussels, which is like a big Ferris wheel. And this is right in front of the Palace of Justice, which is of course um, being reconstructed at this time. But yeah, I just wanted to check this area out. Can you see the Hollywood secret sign? It's like hidden in that building, I think, on purpose. Kind of cool. This is the Royal Palace of Brussels. And right across is the Brussels Park, which I'm about to head into. I've got my little scarf on my head because it is a little bit windy and I just want to make sure to be warm and I feel super comfy but still stylish. I'm gonna take a little walk here. I'm gonna grab a little bite at Cafe Leopold. I got recommended it so I'm gonna check it out. 